Okay. So today, something that hit me today was the last 24 hours, okay? The thing is that I get inspired when I'm gonna do this vlog, then I pray, kind of pray, what, do, what am I gonna talk about? And then Corazoncito, hola mi cielo. Hi, uh, so what are we gonna talk about today? Today, this is, we, 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 let's be positive. I'm gonna be talking about the thing that happens and then how we can resolve them, okay? And this is today has to be with our health because, okay, because if we don't have health, health is the greatest gift, the greatest richness that we all can have. You know, when you, when you, when you are not healthy, you don't do very well, you, don't, uh, you, you are not productive, you don't feel good, and it's, a, it's too, ma too much aggravation. You know, we don't have time to be unhealthy. Well, I don't have to be unhealthy. I don't have time to be unhealthy. That's why I invest in health. And this is what happens as, as we get older, as we celebrate birthday. This is what happened. This is are the symptoms, but the beautiful thing is, remember, there is good news also. One of the, the symptoms of getting old, uh, older is hearing loss. Uh, I'm gonna go through them and then we're gonna explain, well, I think I'm gonna explain them as we go along. Hearing loss. Uh, let me say also as an introduction that we are living in a time, in a perfect time for be as healthy as we want to be, as we, want to take the responsibility to be. For example, one of the, one of the, uh, the symptoms of aging is hearing loss. But right now, you don't have, how do you prevent, and the beautiful thing is, the, the reason I wanted to share this with you, because everything is preventable. Prevention, we can prevent this. So what happened, we let it go. We, we don't take care of the body. We don't take care of the temp, we don't take care of the tempo. So when you, you, as you get older, you let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Then when you reach 70 and 60 and 50 and even 40, then you feel like you're falling apart. But the reason you are falling apart is because you haven't taken the time to pre do prevention, to take care of yourself. Hearing loss, we have a technology today that you can prevent your hearing loss. You can go to your doctor, you can get the hearing exam, exam and if you lose your hearing, they can do surgeries and can, they can install a little devices in your, in your ear and you can read very well. You see people who have born deaf and they put this little uh, technology inside the eardrum and the person can hear well. Okay, so hearing loss is one of the reasons, one of the symptoms of aging. And so that is preventable. Preventable, why? Because you can do the exam before it's too late and you can act right away. It's like the same thing when I had a problem with my hip. As soon as I found the technology that can help me to have a, my legs back, that I can dance, I can run, I can walk, I can do yoga, I can cross my legs, I have my legs crossed right now. And it's because of new technology. So I'm very lucky to live in this time, but I take advantage of it, and we will talk more about that. Another symptom of aging is your skin. I'm not, sorry, let not, let not jump there. Your weight, okay? One of the symptoms of aging is people start putting on weight. And you, not, you don't start putting on weight, not because you are older, it's because you stop doing things, you stop exercising, you stop moving. You can transform any type of exercising or activity that you were doing in your 20, you can transfer that to now. It's not, it's not that you are older, it is that you stop moving and then you get into a rut you get into a lifestyle that prevents you or your mind prevents you for keep, keep on going and taking care of that. So you don't need to get fat as you get old. And this is one of the greatest excuses I listen to all the time. Well, I turned 40 and the menopause, and the menopause and the middle age, eh, hell no. That is, that is preventable and you can stop it, but you have to be proactive. And this is about one thing with weight 
is that you cannot do it for two or three weeks. You look marvelous. Thank you for information. Well, Foxy, thank you so much. This is the, the way that maintaining your weight, it has, it's a daily thing. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting great comments there, but I'm not gonna read the comments, sorry, okay, because I need to keep on going with this. Okay, so we can prevent weight gain. We can prevent gaining weight by exercising every day. Every day. We train and exercise every day for vitality and balance. I just, my hairdresser just told me that when she doesn't exercise, she doesn't have energy. Of course you, you don't have energy if you don't exercise. People have misinformation about, oh, well, I'm, I'm too lazy to exercise. Okay, you're right, you're too lazy to exercise, but if you exercise, you, don't, you won't be lazy because exercising gives you, give you more energy. Okay, so we, we so way is preventable. Uh, okay, your skin, this, your skin starts changing with age. This is what happened, but remember, it's happening, but we can prevent, we can do better. Okay, so your skin starts changing, but look at my skin, okay? Drier, your skin becomes drier, so what do I do? I put coconut oil every single day. I don't go out without my coconut oil, okay? So your skin uh, gets... Um, has aged spot, you prevent that. You don't go into the sun or something. You're, you're the type of, your skin is the type of skin that with the sun you get um, aged spot, you get creases, you get whatever. Whatever you get, you can prevent that. Another way people say, well, my skin is getting so flabby. Your skin is getting flabby. Let me tell you why your skin is getting flabby. Number one, because you don't take care of it. You don't exercise, you don't sweat. You need to sweat. You, don't you realize when you go, when you exercise, when you walk, when you run, when you exercise, your perspiration, your skin, you look like 20 years younger because all the poisons, all the stuffs come out of you. So, the, uh, I'm talking about the skin. So, another thing with the skin is, people say, oh, well, I'm too flabby. Well, let me tell you, I said this many times before, but let me say it again. Today, I work my triceps. Why? Because women, always, we always complain about this area. But if I didn't have, look, if I didn't have triceps, I don't think you can see it very well, but okay. But if I didn't have my triceps, then I will have saggy, sagging skin. I will have this thing, flabby thing, dropping, dripping all over the place. But you know what? I did my tricep today. I did the, the, uh, the 40 pounds bar doing the tricep like you go like this and you push the bar with 40 pounds i did the rope push it pulling down um i did the one that you over your head why because if i want to have if i don't want to have saggy skin here i have to develop my muscle i have to make my muscles grow i cannot have a, a, a tight skin where I don't have muscle. The reason we have flabby skin as we get older is because we start losing muscle mass. And the reason we start losing losing muscle mass is because lack of doing resistant weight. It's training with weight. Don't be afraid of the weight. So those in general, some of the preventions that you can do to maintain a happy, a healthy skin. Okay, reconnecting with the web Wi-Fi. Healthy skin. You have to clean your face every day. You have to clean your, your face. You know, I have my own ritual with my face. You know what it is, coconut oil. I don't use ex expensive uh, products, uh, but I, I exercise. I eat right. Another, another beautiful thing preventing uh, damage in your skin is eating right, eating fruit, eating if you need to take a vitamin or whatever, your doctor will tell you if you need a vitamin, if you need supplements or whatever you need, but you have to be, you have to do prevention. You have to start uh, uh, preventing uh, as un, un, una, un aging too fast. We, yes, we all aging, but we don't have to do it in an accelerated way, okay? So all these things are preventable. So we talk about hearing loss, now we talk about weight, now we talk about the skin, we, how can we prevent that? Heart problems. How can you prevent heart problems? If, please, 
You know how to prevent heart problems. You exercise, you go for a physical, you take care of the machine, you take care of the tempo. So we know, you, you know, you, you have to use your cardiovascular system. You know, the only system we use faithfully is the digestive system. We, all, we always digest it, we always eat it, eating, 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 but we not, never it, take care of the heart, the circulatory system. We never take care of the heart or the uh, uh, respiratory system, you know? So the only thing that we feed is the digestive system, which is overworked because we never give it a break, okay? And that's why now they have the new thing is in intermittent fasting. You know, people fasting, they tell me, do you fast? In intermit in intermittent fasting, you know what I'm talking about? Intermittent, intermittent fasting. No, because I stop eating after four o'clock. So, Dr. Um, my friend, Dr. Samar, you probably follow her. Dr. Samar, one time I went to, uh, she invited me to one of her workshops. And she said, oh, Dr. Josefina, she does uh, in, uh, intermittent fasting because she, does, she stops eating at 4 o'clock and I don't eat until 7.30 the next day. I said, oh, really? <laughs> because that's just, to me, it's a natural thing. I don't have to wait for things to be in or to be the new thing, you know, to get into it. If you get into care, taking care of your body, your mind, and your spirit, you don't have to wait for the latest diet, diet for the latest thing that it just happened, the new thing. Nothing, the, the, uh, an ecclesiastic that says there is nothing new under the sun. And we like to be full. We let other people fool us thinking, oh, this is new. No, the, you know what I mean? Uh, that I believe what God says, there is nothing new under the sun. And it's true. Okay. People try to call new thing. No. Okay. So heart problem, we can prevent that. Susan, I love you too, mommy. Uh, Susan is my photographer, my videographer. She's the one who just the beautiful pictures that you see of me. She takes them. Okay. So the brain power. How? Okay. What about another symptom of aging is brain power, losing your brain power. I have a friend, she works for the Alzheimer and dementia, and she's an expert on that. She said, you know, Josefina, that dementia and Alzheimer's can be prevented by using your brain, by learning new things, by, a, by a, a learning you, you, your body. The brain is like when you study, when you learn new things, when you expose yourself to new environment, when you're discovering new things, your brain is working and your brain is developing new cells, new neurons. So people think that you, you get old and your brain stops working and now you got to have dementia and you have to have Alzheimer's and you have to have all this stuff. No, it's preventable. You can do, learn new language, new skill, new talent, get involved in things that your brain is working, puzzle, writing, reading, anything that stimulates your brain. So, so far, as you can tell, everything I mentioned to you, it can be prevented. It can be slowed down. We can slow down the aging process, but we have to be a proactive agent. We have to be agents of change, other than that, you go along with the flow and like everybody else, not me. Okay. Vision. Okay. Another thing that you can take care of is your vision. One of the signs of aging is which people start losing their vision and they start having problems with seeing. Well, I, I, I have to tell you this. The other day, a few months, few weeks ago, I'm watching TV, well, no, not like TV, TV, but I'm watching the, the TV. And I noticed that I was blinking a lot because I had like a, a little um, veil in my eye, you know, and I kept doing the that and doing like this. And then I went to the eye doctor. Why? Because when you have a symptom, when your body starts telling you something about you, said that, is, that if I have to keep doing this, there's something wrong, okay? So I went to the doctor and the doctor said that they give me my eye examination because the thing is I was pro I've been procrastinating to go back to the eye doctor, doctor for about three years, okay? And then I knew I had to do it, and then when I started getting like that, I said, okay, practice what you preach. Immediately made my appointment, they did my, my vision exam, and they found that I had cataract. So after, uh, in next, uh, sometime in the in next month, they're gonna do the test that you, you know, the, the big test, like you're blinking and da 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 and they're gonna set up the day to remove my cataract. So, because she said to me, I said, yeah, but I see well, it's the only time, like if I'm watching TV, oh, 
and with my reading glasses with my reading glasses and one of them like i need a big one you no know, like a big a more volume more magnet you know more thing and i said wow but this one like it's 250 do i have to go to three and and she said no because what happened what once we do the surgery you don't know what you're missing she said to me so i can hardly wait to have my cataracts removed so uh but that is a way to prevent and this is what i'm talking about and, we, and she said to me you start developing cataract at age 40. my doctor told me that you start my eye doctor you start developing cataract at age 40. so don't think that oh well i'm not 70 or i'm not 60 or i'm not 50 well you start developing at age 40. so at age 40 we have to start taking care of self okay so that was brain okay that was the vision okay another another symptom of aging is bone are uh, your bones and your joints people always ask me don't you have your joints doesn't help my knees help uh, hurt me my articulation hurt me my joints hurt, hurt me people ask me that is anything like that hurt me no i don't why because i exercise you get you lose bone density when you don't exercise if you want to increase your bone density you know you need to exercise it exercise taking vitamin a calcium i'm not saying not take it you can you tell ask to your doctor about that i'm not telling you medical uh, advisor here i'm just giving you information that one of the ways to prevent uh, losing your bone density is exercising your bone density will increase as soon as you start exercising. So that's another a symptom of aging that we all can prevent. Okay. So nothing will hurt because you have bones. And this is another misconception that they have out there. People say, oh, my mom or my father or my grandmother, they fell because they all. No, they didn't fell because they all. They fell because their bones broke and their bones broke because they are weak and their bones are weak because they don't exercise. That is a vicious cycle, but it's easy to blame aging. Aging has its place, but everything, premature aging and living a life of independence at any age starts with you, with you and with me, okay. Another uh, another symptom of aging is uh, sleeping uh, or the uh, uh, the quality of your sleep. Well, as we get older, people feel that they don't sleep enough, that they don't, you know, so you, the quality of, of sleeping diminish, but it doesn't have to diminish. It diminish because the person doesn't take care of their health and they're taking so many pills and so much medication that the medications have the side effect of insomnia or you can kill yourself. I mean, it's amazing the side effect of med some medicine. You know that it has the contrary, constipation, it is lack of sleep, and so on. So if we want to we wanna continue with a good quality of sleep, good habit, we have to develop good habit, good sleeping habits. By, by 6, 7 o'clock, by 7 o'clock I'm done with, with the, the ritual of cleaning my face, brushing my teeth, preparing my room, leaving my, co my coffee ready for tomorrow. Um, everything is in place because then I, I, you develop rituals or a sleeping habit that are conducive to have a good night's sleep. You cannot have a good night's sleep when you are sick, when you're taking medication, when you're watching TV until 10, 11, 1 o'clock at night. You're watching the scary box. I call the TV the scary box because you turn that thing on and it's very scary. The world is ending. Everything is bad. Everything is destruction. Everything is killing each other, destroying each other. It's really pathetic. So I don't turn on the, the scary box too much except for a few shows that I like, like uh, Court TV because they have real cases. Uh, I like watching lawyers 
do their thing because there is nothing like a lawyer. I, I, I wanted to be a lawyer before I went into teaching. Okay, so sleeping, developing good sleeping habits. Okay, you can, so that prevent premature aging. Another symptom of aging is people say, well, high blood pressure. You, your blood pressure start rising. But it's not because you old, not because you, you, you turn whatever, 40, 60, 60, whatever age. Numbers to me mean nothing, okay? So uh, you, have, you don't have high blood pressure because you're old. You have high, high blood pressure because it, either it's genetic, there is something in, get the, you have to confirm that with your doctor. Don't buy into the belief system, well, you have high blood pressure because my grandmother used to have high blood pressure, no. You, you don't inherit those things because epigenetic says that we can change our genes by changing our lifestyle. So uh, high blood pressure is preventable. And let's say that you are the worst case scenario, you really have it, there's medication. But it's much better before the medication, talk to your doctor about developing good habits. And I tell you, I have clients that they start losing weight. They start developing good uh, eating habits, good sleeping habits, diminishing the stress. And people, amazingly, blood pressure go down, immediately go back to normal. Because the natural tendency of the human body is toward health. The natural tendency of the human body is toward health vitality and health okay right okay yeah we talk about another another symptom of people getting old is uh, bladder controlling their bladder they you know they start peeing they don't have control over the the the, the bladder the bladder the tissues of the bladder loses flexibility and because it doesn't have the flexibility that it has before it doesn't hold too much urine so for that, it's great, it's great to prevent when you start having those symptoms, it's good to immediately go to your doctor, tell, her, tell the doctor that you're having some problem ur urinating and they say that you can't control it because your bladder is you lose the flexibility. Once it loses the flexibility, it doesn't hold, it cannot hold too much urine and it comes out. But that can be preventable. And it's preventable because if you're the type of person who's training, you're training your body, your muscles, and you do muscle exercises for the inside, for the inside, like your bladder, you squeeze, you know, you squeeze, you tie up your vagina, or your inside, you know, your uh, uh, sexual organ, you tie them, hold it, and you start doing those kind of exercises, training your bladder to be strong and powerful, because those are tissues and muscles, okay? Bladder control, that's another one, okay. Okay, now another symptom of the aging process is the people get sick very quickly, very often, very fast. They don't, the immune system gets weaker because the T cells are less uh, and they, let me see what else. Okay, so what happened, we get, as you get older, the immune system, mm, you get sicker faster because your immune system is weaker because the T cells are less and those T cells are the ones who fight diseases and germs and creatures that comes into your body. The T cells, they eat them up. So what happens, people get more, they get sick very quickly. But that can be prevented because by eating right, by exercising, by everything that I just told you, that your immune system, it can be very pow powerful. I don't get sick. I don't, thank God, I don't get sick. People say to me when they have a cold or the flu, oh, don't touch me, don't hug me, you're gonna catch my cold. I said, no, I'm not gonna catch my cold, you're gonna catch my health. Because if I can't, why can I, why would I catch your disease? Why don't you catch my health? Health is contagious too. So hang out with healthy people. You hang out with healthy people, you're not gonna be, you're gonna be contagious with health. Okay, you, you hang around with sick people, you're gonna get sick, okay. So the immune system. Okay, let's see what is another symptom of aging. Ah, another symptom of aging, and this is very popular, the teeth. You know, and people, you know, you, you, start, you start having problems with your teeth. Go to the dentist. Don't wait until the whole mouth is messed up to go to the dentist because it's gonna call you a fortune. 
But if you have a problem, you have a toothache or something broke or something whatever, immediately take care of it. Immediately be proactive towards your health. Be proactive towards your well-being because that is what's going to allow you to really live a successful life. Because when you have your whole body working in perfection, just the way I mentioned to you, then you're going to, you, you're going to be more productive. You know, you're gonna be more productive not only financially, but you're gonna be more productive in every area of your life. Okay, so we're gonna recap. So these are the things that happen. These are the things that happen as we get older. But remember, I also told you how to prevent it. I also told you that it's preventable, that not necessarily have to happen. So we, we talk about Ah, the one that I miss was the cancer. People get cancer as they get older, they get cancer. That doesn't mean everybody older, but also young people. But in, in, in general, in general, they have the risk to get cancer. So you get to the, you go, you do your exam, you get a physical. If you have a, a you know, it's whatever, you get a physical, you stay on top of it. So we talk about the cancer, the risk of getting cancer, the hearing loss, the weight loss, the weight uh, gain, we talk about the skin, your skin changing, we talk about the heart problem, how to prevent, we talk about the brain, how to prevent, losing your brain power, we talk about your eyes, taking care of your eyes as soon as you see anything, uh, taking care of your bones through exercise and nutrition, lifestyle, a uh, good quality sleep, how to prepare yourself for a good night's sleep, turning off the scary box, which is the TV, TV, turn off that thing, turn off the TV, turn, turn off your iPad, your phone, and you, you mentally start getting ready to let the body relax, relax, relax. Another symptom of aging is uh, blood, high blood pressure, uh, controlling another one is to the control of your bladder control. Another one is your immune system, your immune system starts getting weaker. And the last time, the last one we talk was your teeth. Immediately, what? See, don't you agree that everything that I mentioned to you right here is preventable? Okay, it's preventable. Now, how do we? Okay, now we did this, right? We we went to the teeth, we went to the eye doctor, we control our heart, we control our eating, we control our sleeping, we don't have the stress. Now, what do I do? <laughs> With all this help, what do I do? What do you do? Then you want to continue because uh, the life is a journey, and the, don't get it. Please don't get into the belief system that at a certain age you have to retire and you have to do nothing. No, 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 no. That's not living. That's dying. Okay, that to me that's dying. So then what happened now? Then you find a purpose. There is nothing more powerful. I found my purpose without even trying. I found, you know, everybody who have my books, by the way, uh, let me make, have a break here. This is my latest book, How to Start from the Beginning. And of course, you also have here, do you find my books on Amazon? And then this is my latest one, okay? And this is my book number three, it has to do with relationships. And this is what I just talked about, keep on learning about your system, about your body. And this is the first book by her in any age, which is what I'm going to talk about that now, okay? Now we got all the, let's have a break here, have a, a, a sip. Perfect. Now what do I do with all this help? I feel happy, I feel healthy, I feel terrific. This is what we're going to do. You're gonna find a purpose, uh, like what I was telling you. I found my purpose, and uh, at uh, 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 59, I found the purpose of bodybuilding, which I'm still a bodybuilder. I still compete, okay? And then another purpose that, pop, that came into me, I became a writer, okay? I, in my 60s, I became a bodybuilder. In my 60s, I became a writer, okay? In my 70s now, I'm a writer, a bodybuilder, a blogger, and a public figure. Give me a break. 
And, and then what happened is when you take the time to take care of your body, the, to do everything that I just told you, then you start finding a, a purpose come to you. You find a purpose. Let me finish this quickly so we can talk about questions and answers. Okay. Okay, so find a purpose. As you get older, don't get don't do the same job until you're gonna retire. And then you're gonna collect a pension. And then that's it, that's the end of your life. No, totally, absolutely not. You're gonna rediscover yourself, you're gonna reinvent yourself, and you're gonna find a purpose. Another thing that I did, I did, I found the right surrounding, the right environment geographically. I was in Massachusetts for 70 years, and I was the last seven years in Massachusetts, I was miserable. I will cry because of the winter, the cold weather, and all that kind of stuff. And then I relocated to Florida. I left everything behind, a great job, a beautiful home, beautiful house, beautiful. But I didn't want to be in that cold weather. I was sick and tired of being cold, so I moved to Florida. So I changed my environment. Don't stay in an, an environment that you don't like. You get depressed, you get sad, you don't find a, you lose the meaning of life, you don't like it, you hate it. Because last three years in Massachusetts, I will come to Florida, go back to Massachusetts in September to work. And as soon as the doors at the airport open in Logan Airport in Boston, I will start crying because of the cold wind and the cold, you know. So change your surroundings. You don't like the place where you live, the house or the geographic location, move. Have the audacity and the courage to make the move. Another thing that you that is a good thing to do then, uh, some people like pets, you know. You, you, you wanna have a dog, find, uh, but I'm, I don't have pets because I have my pets and my bird. And I, they, I have a bird, bird feed, feeder outside and they come and they eat and I listen to them and they're beautiful and they come and they go. I like animals to be free in the right environment. Another way that, another thing that we can do now is to, of course this is gonna repeat is healthy food. We need to keep, continue to eat healthy. Eating healthy is a way of life. Eating healthy is a way of life. We don't, we don't eat healthy because I want to lose weight or I have a special occasion that I have to attend, so I have to lose 20 pounds. So let me lose 20 pounds because I have, a, I have a reunion, my class reunion. That's insane. That's insanity. We eat healthy because it's our way of life and wherever we go, we eat healthy. We don't eat healthy only when it's convenient that I'm at home. If I'm on vacation, I'm still eating the same. Because in most places, places these days, you find restaurants that will provide the type of food that you like. And they do it for me, they can do it for you. Get out of the house. Most people think that because you're older, now you have to stay in the house. Get out of the house. And um, let me see here. Okay, so this is a repetition of the same thing. Okay, so keep to keep your health, keep checking on your health. So I share with you some of the symptoms associated with the aging process, and as you can tell, all those symptoms of the aging process are preventable and, and it can be a nice surgery it can be a healing aid it can be exercising it can be developing your muscle mass and so on so now i'm going to stop and i'm going to see your comments and if anybody want to come in on camera and share their testimony with me or say anything they want please feel free to let me know and i will so let me go here on Instagram first, see some of your comments, master, must, master of, okay. Lisa, soy yo, Jorge, Capola, Stohan, Capola, gracias, gracias. Wow, powerful today, getting school. Yes, Teresa, thank you, thank you. Yes, Teresa, it's amazing because we need to learn this. This information that I'm telling you today is an information that we have to 
not only listen to the information, but to practice. And one of the best way to practice that I will encourage you is to go into Amazon and get this book. You need to have my books, okay? These are classics. This is gonna be because we are breaking grounds. We are changing the paradigm as about the aging process, about how to really live life to the fullest, no matter how old you are. And I assure you, many people who are watching me right now feel better than more the most 20 or 19 years old, okay? Patricia, vamos a ver aquí, uh, Facebook, Aurora, Jackie, Frances, Parian. Do you want to tag Greta Vita in this video? I don't know what that means. I want I want her to come in. Okay, so Instagram. Oh wow, Instagram. You look great as always. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, oh wait, wait. Roxana, thank you, Roxana. Oh, see, Princess of Seven. You said you start your night routine at seven p.m. What time do you go to bed and wake up? Are you early? I go to. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, see, Princess, all this is here, but I, I will tell you, my, my yes, I, go, I, I fall asleep at 8 30. She asking me what is my ritual for the evening, my evening ritual. I start at 6 o'clock getting ready, and by 8 30, I'm out because I'm being, as a prelude, as a preview of is a preview of getting into bed is a preview of returning my day to the Lord is a preview of saying okay I had this day I did everything da 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 you do anything you want but I start at six o'clock at 8 30 I'm out at 8 30 everything is off my room is dark that's another good tip for sleeping your room should be cool and dark at least mine I wake up at three o'clock and then I, I fall asleep at 8.30. And, and how do I know? Because I have this that monitors my sleep. This is my Fitbit. So it's a, a program that I go to sleep at 8.30 and I wake up at three. And every time that I do that, it says on target, on target. I went to bed on target and I woke up on target because my body has been trained. You have to train your body. If you don't train your body to a, 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 a uh, I sleeping a good. Uh, if you don't train your body with good sleeping habits, your body is trainable. Your body has do this thing because you you your mind didn't train the body. The mind trains the body. The body does what the mind says. Okay, so if you start developing the the ritual, uh, the habits of going to sleep at, at a specific time and waking up a specific time, the quality of your sleep is gonna increase like crazy. Blanca, hola. Enia, Daniela, mi vida, como? Oh, I don't know. Gabriela, como hacer peces así? Oh, mucha forma. Gabriela, primero y principal, me si yo, no sé en inglés o en español. Oh, mañana te lo contesto, mañana te lo contesto en español. Mañana es español. No, I, I'm doing English today. So tomorrow is in español. What about partnership? It's important to have a partner for healthy getting old. Nah, I don't know. I, uh, the, the, start, she, she asked uh, if it is good to have a partner for getting old. If you don't have a partner, let's say the, the, what, the guy died, okay? Because women last longer than men. So the guy dies. And the woman is in her 70s, like my age. Okay? She has to decide whether it's worth it to work in another relationship. And that's why this is my book in relationship. Book number three is my book in which I talk all about relationships. So if she wants to have another partner, Somebody who is congruent with her, congruent with her lifestyle, congruent with she likes, with what she likes to do, congruent with her, how she likes to eat, congruent with the time, at what time she goes to, to sleep, that is perfect. But if you're gonna get a partner 
who's just gonna impose his will on you, that she wants to go to bed at 8.30, and the guy wants to watch TV until midday, that is, you can come in, yeah. Pasa, uh, it's my brother, he just came in. Um, if you want to, um, if, if he wants to watch TV until midnight, and she wants to go to sleep at 8.30, this is a mistake. So it's a worth it. My, the whole thing for me is, it's a worth it. It's a worth it for somebody who their husband died, or it doesn't matter if the person is single, because it's better to be a happy single than a married person unhappy. So that's why you, all these questions that you have about relationship, I tell you, get this book. My book and relationship, as all the four books, are in Amazon. So when it comes to relationship, I'm very black and white because I don't know if it is worth it. I'm not gonna let somebody to tell me you can't go to sleep at 8.30 because I'm gonna watch TV or because I have to watch this movie because I have to see the end of the movie. Hell no. And so you out of my room. Pow. Pow. <laughs> uh. Yes, Maricel, es mañana en español. ¿Cómo haces para sin tener? Okay. Hola, Josefina. Tomorrow in español. Mañana en español, okay? Okie dokie. Valerie, Josefina has helped me to change my mindset before I have changed my circuit driving. Oh, wow. Gracias, Valerie. Thank you, Valerie. Excellent. Blanca, Lucy, Gonzalez, Josefina, cuando comencé a dormir a ocho, aparecieron las bolsas. Oh, my God, de mis ojos. Lucy Gonzalez dice, she said that when she started to, when she started going to sleep at eight, and waking up at three o'clock in the afternoon, in the morning, all the back on the, her eyes disappear. Absolutely. And your skin, I mean, I wake up in the morning and I look at myself in the mirror and I look so beautiful, so young, so refreshed. Because you, this is another thing that accelerates the aging process, lack of sleep. Because you know, remember Sleepy Beauty? That get you, get you beauty sleep, it's a, it's, a, it's a real truth to that. So sleeping is a good thing. Okay, let me see what, who else. Gracias, Lucy. Belkis. Sabel, okay. Sonny, hola. Follow me on Instagram. Who are you? <laughs> Mere, met Carhil. Say, follow me on Instagram. Who are you? Hola, Josefina. Felicidades. Saludos desde Uruguay. Uruguay, mañana en español. Okay. So anything else, if nobody, if you don't have anything else, so that is like, so today, today our, our blog was about how to do prevention and what to expect as we get older. So what is to expect and what we can do about it because I like to have the solution or the situation or the challenge that is presented to us, okay? So if nobody has anything else, and remember, follow me, tell your friend to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, go to uh, my uh, YouTube channel. In my YouTube channel, I'm gonna post this video today on YouTube, so everybody can watch it at any time you want, and you can refresh, it can be a refresher. All the blogs that I do, I that's what I do it here in Facebook, so I can put it in, in YouTube. So you can watch it in YouTube in a little while, and my YouTube channel, please subscribe to it. My, go to Amazon, get my books because the books are very powerful and are gonna be, are classics. Those books are gonna become classic because we are breaking paradigms. We are changing the belief system. We are really promoting the good health and the, the true happiness. Because as you well know, I'm not, I'm not telling you and I'm not selling you products. What I'm selling you is a lifestyle that you can do without any cost. It doesn't cost anything for you to go for a walk. It doesn't cost anything for you to have a physical exam. It doesn't cost you anything to have your health back. With that, I say, pow! You say, wow! <laughs> Okie dokie. Teresa! Oh, gracias, Teresa. I am fine, thank you. I'm great. I'm awesome. Carmen dice, Josefina está regia, pelo, cara, boca, gee, cuídate. <laughs> Exactamente. Carmen, 
I cannot be talking about taking care of your health and be a, a, a mess, right? It's an impossibility. Senna, he, my beautiful friend Senna, I posted a picture of her last week and her 52 beautiful years young. Okay, my friends, so I think we are done for today. Belkis, hola. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, no me sale la, la conexión, Belkis. Okie dokie. Okay, so let me finish here in Instagram first because Instagram is the one who also cut me off and I don't know why I, po I post this in Instagram story and sometimes doesn't stay. So if anybody knows why, what happened, so let me know. But I was curious, the other day I posted a video in the stories and it didn't last long. Okay, let me say goodbye here on Instagram. Okay, my friends, Instagram, see you tomorrow in Spanish. Me encanta esta pasapao. <laughs> Carmencita, mejor que nunca, mami, mejor que nunca. So, en Spanish, Spanish, tomorrow. Mañana en español, lo veo mañana. Pau. I love you. Share on story. I should just wait. Hola, mo. <laughs> ya te veo. Pow. <laughs> oh, wow. Bye. Mwah.